is up guys welcome back to the soup channel my name is matthew Rollinson on this channel i'm to entertain inform and inspire using the topic of discussion as always which is superheroes so guys it, it, you saw the title of the video it's happening marvel's version of their suicide squad is finally coming to the marvel cinematic universe so right before i break down today's news guys make sure to stay to the end of the video for giveaway details as i'm giving away a playstation 4 in december and without further ado let's break down a leaked set photo of black widow that basically confirms that Marvel is bringing the Thunderbolts to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So before we get into breaking down how the Thunderbolts will enter the MCU, we must first talk about who the Thunderbolts are, as they aren't as popular as you may think. The Thunderbolts are a superhero team made by Thunderbolt Ross and cons consists mostly of reformed villains. Some notable members from the comics that we have seen in the live-action setting include Norman Osborn, Venom, and Bullseye. But like the Avengers, there have been multiple types of different versions of the team. So in the MCU, because we haven't seen Norman Osborn and Sony still holds the rights to Venom, it's safe to say that Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios are going to craft a completely different version of this team that we've never seen before. Now, getting to the root of how Marvel was planning to introduce the Thunderbolts. After it was announced in 2015 that William Hurt was coming back to reprise his role as Gen General Thunderbolt Ross, a lot of people theorized that Marvel wasn't just bringing him back for the final Captain America film, serving the sole purpose of presenting the Avengers with the Sokovia Accords. I think it's safe to say that Marvel had bigger plans for this character, and now we have proof that there's more than meets the eye with the mysterious role and future of Thunderbolt Ross within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As Black Widow has now wrapped its filming, reshoots and the final touch-ups for the film have been taking place and this set photo of an extremely old Thunderbolt Ross has been leaked. Judging off of the photo, it looks like Thunderbolt Ross did survive Thanos' snap in Avengers Infinity War and has aged the five years that took place during the time jump in Avengers Endgame. But Black Widow died in Avengers Endgame and this Black Widow solo film is a prequel that takes place after the events of Captain America's Civil War. So then does that mean whatever scene includes Thunderbolt Ross is going to take place in the future after Black Widow has died? I'm speculating that in this post credit scene, we are going to see Thunderbolt Ross finally serving the sole purpose as to why he was brought back into the MCU in the first place. And this is to assemble the Thunderbolts. In this scene, Thunderbolt Ross is going to be recruiting either Taskmaster or Black Widow's sister, Yelena, to join a team he's assembling called the Thunderbolts. I'm leaning more for, towards him recruiting Taskmaster because guys, I have seen the Black Widow trailer at D23 and the footage of Taskmaster in action. And I can tell you guys right now that he's going to be one of the coolest villains in the MCU. Just from a few scenes I saw of him in action facing off against Black Widow, he's going to elevate the combat and action that the MCU brings moving forward. So it would be no surprise if Marvel has bigger plans to continue his storyline by having him be recruited by Thunderbolt Ross in a post credit scene for Black Widow. Obviously, this is only a set photo that confirms Thunderbolt Ross for Black Widow. But moving forward past the Infinity Saga, Marvel is going to try new things and take more risks. So what better way than to do something they've never done? Assemble an entire team of already established villains. Marvel has never done this before, and I can't help but imagine how different a movie about the Thunderbolts would be compared to every other MCU film before it. The Suicide Squad of the freaking MCU. A potential live action Thunderbolts lineup could consist of Taskmaster, Abomination, Ghost, Zemo, Justin Hammer, and Thunderbolt Ross himself as Red Hulk. So guys, after a leaked set photo hit the web of a very old Thunderbolt Ross, which means that this scene that he is filming comes in the future of the MCU. It comes after Endgame, after Black Widow has died. And if they're gonna be filming a scene after Black Widow has died in a Black Widow movie, then that means that they're setting something up for the future. And after all of the theorizing, after all the years of you know, speculating, what could his what, what could Thunderbolt Ross's big role for the MCU and what could his future entail? And this is to set up the Suicide Squad of the MCU, the Thunderbolts. 
I pray to God that this scene includes him recruiting Taskmaster because guys, again, I've seen footage of Taskmaster and I can tell you right now, he's gonna be such an awesome villain and the combat is just gonna be so much elevated after we see him play the main villain role in the Black Widow solo film. So let me know in the comment section down below, are you guys hyped to see the Thunderbolts finally enter the MCU? MCU with the with the movies to come. Let me know in the comment section down below. Now getting into giveaway details, guys. I'm giving away a PlayStation 4 in December. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is like this video, comment down below, and subscribe for an entry towards winning a PlayStation 4. So there you guys have it. All the evidence has been stacking on top of itself, and it looks like very very soon we are, we are gonna see the Thunderbolts enter the MCU. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And in order to stay up to date with everything regarding the Thunderbolts, make sure to hit that bell notification on my channel to get notified when I post videos. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.